an exhaustive damage doorway, <coughs> shoot the doorway information in the head of patient. Isma uh, Ahmed, he's 25 years old. Examine his brachial plexus. Tamam. The examination can happen. Assalamu alaikum. 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 Assalamu alaik
C8 افتح لي سابق هو This is T1 تمام I finished the dermatome and the myotome While I'm examining the patient his moisture was uh, comparable both sides so it was not dry skin or over moisture <coughs> تمام Also he has no Horner syndrome so uh, this would exclude uh, brief ganglionic injuries but I have to examine the root muscle first So the first root muscles أول حاجة البيك شدير تاخذ الكوعك وترجعها من الخلف وقوة تمام وما تطلعهمش بعد ذلك حنفحص rhomboids which are supplied by the dorsal scapular nerve I can feel the bulk of them they are in good bulk okay التست الثاني من بعد ذلك بيك جي على الحيط هيك بتساوي كيف القوة تمام looking for any winding of scapula by any long thoracic nerve palsy supplying the serratus anterior which is not available here تمام ارتع Okay, after that, so there is no pre ganglionic injuries, I would go into the trunk. The most important muscle for the trunk, the supranumphraspinatus, I'm doing empty can or job test, so it's power five. We'll do external rotation lag test. He's keeping it, so he doesn't have a legend. So external rotation like this is negative, indicating intact infraspinatus muscle. Okay. After uh, uh, the, after that we'll go into the. After that we'll go into the. Uh, we finish the trunks. Now we're going into the cords. Exactly. For the cords, the muscle of the cords that I need to memorize the pectoralis major. So now here I'm feeling the bulk of the pectoralis major, which is. وايد بولكي تمام بعد ذلك او الاكزامن ناو ذا ذا سمول دورسي تاخذ ايدك تحطها على كتفي هاني كتفي هنا المقابض ايوه واضغطها بقوه لو تمام ناو ام فيلينج دي ذا سمول دورسي اوكي ممكن تدير الثانيه ام اكزامن بوث سايدز تمام ذا سمول دورسي سبلايد باي تراكو دورس نيرف اوكي The other muscle that you need to examine while you're examining the uh, the uh, The uh, the uh, trunks is the subscapularis. Subscapularis. You can put it on your back. Put it on the back. But put it on your back. Okay. How many muscles in the core? Okay. This is five over five upper and lower subscapular nerves. Okay. Parts of the trunk examination. I would examine the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm and medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. Go to the camera. Notice the sensation that you have. Okay. Okay, I'm done now with the trunks. Now I'll go into the terminal branches. The first terminal branch is the axillary nerve. I've examined the deltoid, which was power five over five. Also, I can examine the sensation here, which was examined also when I'm examining the dermatome. The third muscle that I has that I need to examine, I would do the horn power lower test. So it's negative for horn power, indicating intact sensation of the teres minor muscle. Okay, that's for the axillary nerve. I've examined the muscular cutaneous nerve muscle by examining the elbow flexion and it was 5 over 5 bilaterally. I'm examining the lateral and lateral cutaneous anti brachial cutaneous nerve, which is a part, a branch of the muscular cutaneous nerve, supplying the lateral part of the forearm. Okay, that. Now I'm going into the median nerve. So, the median nerve, while examination, there are some uh, parts that I need to inspect and Uh, some parts that I need to palpate. I've palpated the uh, cubital tunnel, uh, sorry, the carpal tunnel by palpation. I can't see any thinner wasting, okay? I can't see any uh, volar forearm wasting. I can't see any scar of the previous, any previous carpal tunnel decompression. So this is for the median nerve uh, proper. For the median nerve, one of the uh, muscles that's supplied by the median nerve proper is the pronator teres. For the pronator teres, So resistant subination of the pronator forearm. And power five is five over five of both pronator teres. Now, I will examine the uh, anterior anteroosseous nerve. Look at the back. So, now I'm examining the 
me the lateral part of flexor digitorum profundus and flexor bullosus longus, and it's intact, indicating okay sign of the anterior interosseous nerve. Tamam, bad neck. Now I'm moving into the ulnar nerve. Ulnar nerve is more important. So for the ulnar nerve, again, looking at the inspection, looking at the hypothenar eminence, looking for any uh, wasting, mukatlif edic. Looking at the interosseous for any guttering, which is not available, negative here. Looking at the ulnar part of the forearm bilaterally, and they are quite symmetrical. Okay, for the palpation part, and has, I'm feeling the ulnar most part of the hand. For the percussion, I need to do a tunnel test over the Guyon Canal. Okay, so tunnel test over the Guyon Canal is negative. So for the ulnar nerve, I would examine the supply of the forearm, which is the ulnar part of flexor digitorum profundus. I would support the finger like that. So I'm flexing the distal interphalangeal joint of the little finger. Which power is 5 over 5. Now for the inter OCI, I'm So the inter OCI power is 5 over 5. I'm trying to abduct, abduct abducted fingers. I'm done with the inter OCI now. The, uh, the other test or science of the other nerve is the Wartenberg sign. So Wartenberg sign is negative, indicating no other nerve injury. The last test is the Froman sign. Froman sign, the big pattern is the one that you have to do. You have to do it. You have to do it. When I'm doing this test, what are the muscles that I'm testing? Adductor polishes, brevis. What else? Intrusion. The first, interosseous. Now, one. The first, I'm a dorsal or palmar. Dorsal. 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 Yes. Dorsal. That. Okay. Then I'm sick. Okay. If the patient flexes his interphalangeal joint, by the way, I'm using the AI and he's cheating. Okay. Now I'm done with the other nerve. We're going now to the radial nerve. For the radial nerve, بعد منك أكيد إذا كان في أي لحساس سوي تمام ممتاز. Then I'm looking at the mobile wad. They are quite symmetrical. I can't see any wasting there. تمام. For the radial nerve proper, we have a proper nerve and we have the branch. For the proper, بعد منك بيك. While the arm, the forearm is in mid prone position. ممكن تثني كورك. قوم جوا. I'm examining the brachioradialis. Again, brachioradialis is power 5 over 5. You need to mention this. The main trunk of the radial nerve. Now we're examining the, the BIN, which is the posterior interosseous nerve. The thumb up. The thumb up. So he's doing extensive bullishes longus. He's doing uh, finger extensions, that's quite enough for the uh, yeah. for the posterior interosseous nerve pulse. But then, then I'm doing the Wartenberg syndrome. Usually, those patients, they get the uh, superficial radial nerve or superficial branch radial nerve and trapped under the brachioradialis. So um, what I'm doing, previously, the pronated teres, I'm subinating pronated arm. Now I'm pronating subinated arm. The patient will feel pain or discomfort when he's doing this maneuver, indicating Wartenberg syndrome. Tamam. I'm done with my brachial plexus examination. I can't see any clear finding of my brachial plexus examination apart from four, uh, four plus over five weakness of the right elbow flexion. Otherwise, I can't see any abnormality. Shukran Sayyid Ahmed, Barakallahu Feek, for reading the Thank you very much.